Oh, I know you really don't like to defend your universe, Universal Championship. Oh, we got John Morrison this time? Damn. Alright. Tough cookies? Okay. Well, we haven't really defended the Universal title match, right? So we got John Morrison. I've always liked John Morrison. I think he was, he's a, uh, he could be a top guy, man. Even before he left, like in 2011 or 2012, I've always looked at him as the guy, too. So, okay, and now I have the other title. <laughs> So yeah, this is like, you know, Booker's dream. I really wanted to have John Morrison in the title picture, but of course I'm going to retain. Oh, gee. The Universal title, perhaps the most coveted prize in all of WWE, and it's on the line tonight. The locker room has been buzzing about this match, and I can't say I blame them. Chances are, we are about to see a classic. The pressures of being champion are very real, but this guy is ready for it. John Morrison. It is a universal title shot from John for John Morrison, huh? That will never happen. <laughs> He's already gone from WWE again, but you know. makes the impossible look effortless. Beautiful to watch, but extremely painful to experience. The guru of greatness is ready for action. Introducing the challenger from Los Angeles, California. Weighing in at 215 pounds, John Morrison! And introducing the champion from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Weighing in at 163 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, Dr. Death. This title represents the very top of the mountain here in WWE. This Universal Championship is what all superstars dream of. All right. Let's go get it then. Faces says it all. This is going to be one hell of a fight. No one came here to lose, but there can only be one Universal Champion in the end. Better oh shit. In, fellas. I have a feeling this could be a Oh, early counter. Oh shit, early counter, huh? Morrison saw it coming. The springboard attack fails to land. Both of both of us miss. Come on, stop on this bitch. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Oh shit, nice counter. Oh, look at these 
those kicks. Oh, wow. oh what a counter. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. oh the sent on. Holy shit, I flew right there. Oh shit. And Morrison is finally able to mount some resistance with that. That could be the spark Morrison was looking for. Oh, what a match so far. Alright. He's just dominating at this point. Yeah, he has to devise some kind of new strategy here. Oh, oh shit. Error there. Nice amateur takedown. All the way over. Oh, they hit him with that? Oh! Super kick. A rear super Next kick. Oh, Come on, bust it open, baby. Back it up. Make him bleed, baby. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I should have not played my food, bro. Yep. Still has the energy for a quick kick out. Standing shooting star press incredible. Oh my god. Back it up, bro. Oh what? Jeez, nasty kick in the face. Oh bitch, you missed. Come on, stand up, bitch. Alright, alright. Man, he countered my shit already. Alright, back it up. Nice counters, buddy. Oh man, another challenger, huh? Oh, insult Edge, insult him. Oh shit. I'm oh, gonna defend, okay. I'm gonna defend it to Seamus instead first, okay. What's up with this guy? I saw your little back and forth with Edge on social media, and it gave me an idea. I think the two of you would have an amazing match. So if you can defeat Sheamus tonight, then your next Universal Championship defense will be against Edge. Wow. Okay. So your buddy just posts that he wants a Universal title match, and boom, he gets one. <laughs> I know you helped train Edge for his comeback, and in return, he got you the GM job. Oh, damn. But I didn't realize that meant you had to do whatever he wanted. Whenever he asked. Funny. I had it all wrong. I guess he's your daddy. Ooh, he's your daddy. Look, as far as Edge goes, it's no secret that we've helped each other out. But this has nothing to do with that. He's earned this opportunity. And like I said, I think it'd be a great match. All right, say so. Okay. Keep telling yourself all that to justify what you're doing. If I were you, I'd focus on taking care of Seamus first. Or none of this will even matter. True. Don't worry. 
I'll handle my business with Seamus, and you'll get your little dream match. Then, I'll beat your BFF too. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Universal Championship. Yeah, now we're talking. All right, we got some universal title defenses right now. Holy shit! They ain't fucking around. The championship is on the line here in this one. And I'll tell you, Cole, the champion has never looked more dominant than right here, right now. The champ has never looked more focused, laser focused on the task at hand. Yeah, we really forget about Roman Reigns, bro. Fuck him. <laughs> we got Sheamus in the title picture, too. Sheamus will one day be a WWE Hall of Famer. If you can achieve it in WWE, Sheamus has done it. Sheamus is as tough as they come. Trade Drew McIntyre, Cesaro, and the entire WWE universe. Well, luckily, the Irishman's powerful enough to fight all on his own. Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds. The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! And introducing the champion from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 163 pounds. He is the WWE Universal Champion, Dr. Death. This is always a match with a normal... Alright, then we got Edge right after. Okay. We haven't seen Edge since we moved to SmackDown too, so we'll see. The Universal Championship. It doesn't get bigger than this. Yeah, I'll beat Sheamus. Free. With a title defense against the hungry Sheamus, who's looking to prove himself against WWE's top dog. It's a heck of a matchup between two superstars at the peak of their game. But it feels like there's been more talk about our GM's medicine than the actual match. Too much talk, if you ask me. And I think the Celtic Warrior would agree. That's why it's time for everyone to strap on their big boy boots and settle this thing in the ring. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Well-placed kick. Stomping down. Back it up, Sheamus. Oh, shit. Sheamus denies the attack. No, stop that shit. Oh, just turn that around. And a kick. He saw it coming. All right. Sheamus anticipated that one. Face wash. Face wash it is. Yeah, Sheamus is getting beaten down. 
He fends off the attack. Good. Double axe handle. Striking. Another axe handle, bitch. The challenger is not in a great place. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of a match. Alright. Saw it coming. Big boom. Time to face edge, bitch. Double leg takedown. Step through looking for a submission here. No, it's not a submission, buddy. Legs Time to pack line. it up. Now one more. I think the champ's got it. Yeah. Down the shoulders, Back up, Seamus. I want to face Edge. Kiss your dreams. Good oh, what? That was two finishers. What the fuck? Seamus still alive, bro? Come on, man. This will be over. Wow, are you crazy? Fucking Sheamus, holy shit, man. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, finally. No, you don't need protection, bro. Wow. All right, come on, Sheamus. Oh, I got it counted. Okay. All right, we're there. We're almost there. All right, we're getting way too lucky, buddy. Pack it up. He's not gonna. He's not gonna kick out, man. All right, what's I took good? care of Sheamus like I said I would, and now your boy has his title match. Happy? Actually, I am. Like I said, I think it's going to be a great match and something the SmackDown audience will really enjoy. Yeah, definitely. This has nothing to do with the fact that you wouldn't have your job if it wasn't for Edge. I mean, what else would you do if he asked? You might as well just cut out the middleman and make Edge GM. He's already calling all the shots. Damn. I'll say it one more time. This is about giving the WWE Universe the best available match. Nothing else. Don't push me on this. Okay, if that's what it's all about, then why make the WWE Universe wait to see me face Edge? We should just give it to them tonight, right? Because that would be yet another totally fair and unbiased decision for you to make. Damn, I'm just pushing it right now. You know what? Finally, I agree with you. Go get some rest. Because you're going to defend your universal title again tonight. Oh, Shh. talk too much, buddy. Are you serious? I was just trying to make a point. And I just made mine. Damn. I told you not to push me on this, but you didn't listen. Now go get ready for your match. We're just going to end in DQ, bro. Yo, two de title defenses in a row? In the same night?
Big match here, guys, as the title will be on the line tonight. And the champ has looked dominant of late. But all it takes is one wrong move, and that title could be going home with somebody else. Many have written him off as champion, but he is determined to prove his doubters wrong. You you know. Alright, first time seeing uh, Edge's entrance. Let's go. It's one of my favorite wrestlers growing up, too. And a Hall of Famer. That's not his fireworks. <laughs> oh, it's a Canadian battle, by the way. At Cornerstone, one of the forefathers of the tables, ladders, and chairs match. The ultimate opportunity. Introducing the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the rated R superstar, Edge! And introducing the champion from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 163 pounds. He is the WWE Universal Champion, Dr. Death. Winning the Universal title makes you the guy in WWE. Well, that escalated quickly. It's time All right, for let's do this. Championship match of the night. The Universal Champion will defend his title again. Yeah, no kidding, right? I should be tired, bro. Oh shit. But he might have bitten off more than he can chew because it sure looks like that Oh, the counter. Took its toll. Oh yeah, no kidding. That took a while. And our GM and his edge are about to learn that the hard way. Producing a trampling. Hit the ropes. Oh. Getting out of that one. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Set right out of the ring. Oh shit. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Edge with the alertness there. Bam! Come on, Edge. Devastating kick. Here we go. A slingshot cross body. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. The Senton, bro. And it pays off. Consecutive attacks landing on Edge. Edge's defenses are being mowed down. He's reeling slowly getting up. He has a task at hand but prefers to be showboating right now. And the referee gets caught in the line of fire. The challenger's looking shaken. Back it up. The, cross body. the crunch sound. What the fuck? All right. He foiled that attempt. Oh, knee right to the face. He isn't finding any space to recover. Yeah, the defects in his game are leaving him vulnerable. All right. Back it up, Edge. Come on, Edge. The Universal Champion and Edge are going back and forth here in this huge title match. Bro, come on, man. He's gonna get DQ'd. I already punched him. What well, close line for a 160 pounder over uh, a 250 pounder dude? 
What the fuck is going on? He's competed twice tonight. He's just evening up the odds. And it's our G. Oh, damn. Adam Pierce. He's out here to help his friend Edge. That's the only reason Edge got this opportunity in the first place. He's just trying to restore some order to the match. Wait a second. Spear. Oh, the spear. The champion with the spear. The referee. Bro, did that screw me over? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Yo, what? I thought I'm the heel! Adam Pierce, what a bitch! Bro, I thought I was the heel! Let's not gloss over the real story here. The general manager of SmackDown just abused his power to help his friends steal the universe. What the hell? Yo, I thought I'm the heel of this thing, man. This victory did occur with some level of controversy. If I know our now forward, what the fuck? He's not gonna sit back and accept this without putting up a fight. This referee is useless, man. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Look, I could just approach this like some kind of farewell tour. A chance to Even Edge fucking recorded like over the phone. What the shit? <laughs> a chance to stroke my own ego one more time and a chance to remind all of you of a different era when this sort of thing was typical man they, they do really uh, record over the phone but i'm here to say that's exactly not what i'm gonna do i've heard all the critics like the former champion himself that i was handed this universal championship man and somehow because of my friendship with the gm that i got special treatment and this was basically gifted to me so with that in mind I'm going to do everything in my power, even if it ends up costing me this very title to prove the critics wrong. I'm going to be a fighting champion and earn everything I get. I'm going to do that by issuing an open challenge to anyone in that locker room to How about me for this championship. And the open challenge begins right now. So who's ready to come out and face me? Come on, let's see what this locker room is made of. What's going on here? That's what's going on. Oh here. shit. The champion appears to have cut to the front of the line. Oh boy. Oh shit. This is a heelish move now. What you were expecting, huh, Edge? No, they still the heel though. I wasn't expecting to lose my universal championship after your BFF here conspired to have me compete twice in one night. Interfered in the match. Yeah, they're the heel, right? Intended to be a referee and illegally counted the pin, basically handing you the title himself. But special treatment is the only kind of treatment you've received since you came back to WWE, isn't it? Uh, ooh. I don't know what you're doing, but leave Adam out of this. <laughs> he's on the phone, man. Is this live or is on the phone? This is my time. Like I was saying. The special treatment started when you just waltzed into the Royal Rumble after being gone for eight years. No qualifying match needed. Then there were the WrestleMania matches, the WWE Network specials, all the TV time you took from superstars. But why? Like yourself. Why am I the only one? Worst of all, you were so insecure. Why am I, why am I getting like the one that I did the, sh the bad thing? Adam Pierce Bro, they did the heelish thing. To give you the easiest possible path to success. And it worked. What do you want? I want to put an end to all of this. And I want my title back. So give me a rematch on my terms. Or I'll take out your buddy here. Well, worse than I already have. Oh, I'll take you on whenever and however you want. Just let him go. Why are they acting there to the face, Smart man? Smart decision. That's the shit. Now run back to your BFF. At least it looks like this is over with for now. Adam ah. Pierce is way late with the chair. This is crossing the line. Here comes Edge. That just showed you exactly the type of person the former Universal Champion is. As soon as Edge was going to confront him face to face, he ran away as fast as he could. Bro, and come on, man. True, but the damage was done. He got what Why he getting conspired, man? <laughs> yeah, I appreciate all the well wishes, huh?
Oh, what should we go for? Stream rules, last man standing. What should we go for? Oh, let's go with your match. TLC, how about that, Edge? How about that? Oh, wow. Damn. Oh, we're at payback. All right. We never get into WrestleMania. Come on, man. All right, it's payback. All right, it's time for my payback. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up, and a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. His skills, his talents, that's what helped him to earn this opportunity. And that's what will win him the title tonight. You think you know me? The ultimate opportunist! Alright, the belt's up there, okay. The previous games, he had the TLC to have a fucking pinfall and submission finish, right? I don't know what game was that, but they had it before. But this one is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna beat you in your own game, bitch. Introducing the challenger from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 163 pounds, Dr. Death. And introducing the champion. Oh, he does have the championship. <laughs> what kind of fucked up glitch is this? This title represents the very top of the mountain here in WWE. This Universal Championship is what all superstars dream of. So is this going to be hanging on, on top of us? Come on, tell me now. Oh, it is! We're gonna win by pinfall or submission. What the fuck? Alright. If the challenger can win and hang on to his roster spot, he'll deliver a powerful message to our general manager and the entire WWE universe. Titles are won, not gifted. Oh, yeah. No kidding, right? They're acting like I'm the heel, bro. Alright, time to give give Edge his shit. Oh, did you just did you just flip the bird on me? This is PG, my friend. Alright. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Uh oh. Uh oh, bitch. You think you can? You think you know me, bitch? 
decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Alright, we're not going to limit this to TLC, bro. We're going to have some kendo sticks, boy. I don't care at this point, bro. Oh shit. The champ trying to roll with these hits. And landing with the double axe handle. Give me this shit. Give me this. Stand up, you bitch. No DQ now, my brother. Edge predicted that one. Punch lands. Oh, that'll leave a mark. Got it scouted. Oh, somebody's got to stop this. An aggressive charge against Edge now. Edge's defenses are being mowed down. Alright, Edge. Oh, shit. That's Connor. Hold on, Edge. Stand up, bitch. It's no longer TLC, bro. Set up the table, bro. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. Oh, a kick to the face. Oh my God. Consecutive attacks landing on Edge. Edge has got to get his wits about it. The champ getting worked over here. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. All right. Come on, Edge. You want to go down here, bitch? Come on. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. And that gets rescinded back to Edge. Oh, shit. Oh shit, edge matic Okay, don't sell that shit. Bro, he counters everything. Come on, Edge. Ah, we need a chair. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. I guess he thinks the one thing missing in this match is a steel chair. Well, it's TLC for a reason, bro. What a maneuver, right? Okay. Oh, man. I play games, bro? And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taken a toll. Consecutive attacks landing on Edge. Edge keeps getting cut off at the pass. He climbs into the ring. Where's the, where are the steps at? And returning to the ring. No, you're not doing that shit, Edge. Oh, look at that counter. Foot just stomping down. 
A lot of momentum now on his side. He can't oh, shit. Nice counter. Oh, the DDT almost in the ladder, too. I want the steps. Give me the fucking steps. No man. In just one, bro. He still has some gas left in the tank. Here's a combo of strikes. Oh, the counter? What the fuck? Rolling elbow right on the mark. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. Oh, come on, man. Back it up, Edge. Back it up. Bro, it's gonna change hands right now. Oh, ho, ho. back it up, Edge. With a sweet ass moonsault. Come on, referee, count the ship. That's payback. He has defeated Edge and regained the Universal title. His victory also means he's not going anywhere. In fact, I have a feeling he'll be dominating SmackDown for a very long time. As scary as that sounds, I think you're right, Corey. The SmackDown roster has officially been put on notice. Oh, yeah.